Hello friends, and today I want to show you how to add your favourite commands onto a toolbar. And it's really useful if you're using a tablet and don't like or can't use keyboard shortcuts. So there's two toolbars that you can configure and both work in exactly the same way. First, there's a timeline toolbar up here above the timeline. And if that's not already showing, you can just right click on any column header and choose Toggle X Sheet Toolbar. So to configure it, just right click anywhere on the bar and choose the Customize option. And you'll see this dialog. And it's split into two. So on the left, you'll see the commands already on this toolbar. And on the right, you'll see all of the commands that you can add. And to add a command to the bar, just find it on the right and then drag it over to the correct position on the left. So two useful commands that I use a lot that I mentioned last week are the preview and preview options commands. So let's add those. And we know the command is in the render menu, so open the render folder inside the menu commands folder, and then drag the command from here to the left hand side. And as you move it, you'll see this line showing where it's going to be added. So that's the preview settings, and we also want preview itself, and put that at the bottom. And if you want to separate it between your commands, you can just drag it from the right hand side at the bottom here and place it where you'd like to separate your commands. And you can just click and drag to reorder them in this list. And if you don't want a command, you can just right click and choose remove. So when you press OK, you'll now see your two new commands for the preview settings and for previewing directly on the timeline toolbar really handy to get to while you're working. So that's how you edit the commands on the timeline toolbar, but as I said, there's two command bars that you can edit. The other one is a standalone command bar, which is available from the Windows menu, and it's simply called command bar. So select that, and this is already set up with some default commands, and you might have different ones set up on this bar than I have here. I'm currently using a nightly build so this is the most up-to-date version and we'll be nearer to how version 1.6 looks. But we'll get to that in the coming weeks. So you edit this command bar in exactly the same way. So you simply right click somewhere on the bar and choose customize. And let's add the preview button on here as well. So come down to the render section, drag over the preview settings, the preview option, and I'll put a separator in front of those two as I did on the timeline. And again, pressing OK, you'll now see those options at the end of the command bar. And we can leave this bar floating like this, or you can dock it next to the windows on the screen by dragging it and placing it near the side of another panel. And when you do, you'll see this red line. And when the red line is in the right place to where you'd like to dock the bar, then just release. But if you don't see the red line, and can't dock a panel, then check that your docking isn't locked from the Windows Workspace menu, check that the lock room panes isn't ticked. But using this bar is much more flexible than the timeline toolbar because you can add it anywhere. So you can put it above your viewer, like I've got here. But if you only need the first few commands from the bar, then you can dock it above a narrower panel like the palette window. And then you can easily get to the undo, redo, save, or whatever buttons you decide to put on the bar. So that's how easy it is to add commands to your toolbars to increase your productivity. So which commands do you need on the toolbar? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found this video useful, why not give me a thumbs up to help other users see the video? And I'll see you next week for another tip. And that's a guarantee.